The main detective in Manchester at the time was Jerome Caminada and he was on the roof looking in. He saw that half the men were now dressed in women's clothing and that these were historically inspired costumes. So we know that there was Elizabeth I and Sir Francis Drake, there was Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, there was also Romeo and Juliet and all sorts of fantastic costumes on display. So you go down the stairs and tentatively approach a front door. You maybe knock and then the door, let's imagine, is flung open by your friend Bobby, dressed in his flowing gold trimmed skirt and you can hear the kind of raucous laughter inside, the music, the gramophone, all waiting to greet you. Because of this collection, because these records exist, and because these records that exist like a place like the Metropolitan Archive, it's indisputable that black LGBTQ plus culture exists. Lady Eleanor and Sarah Ponsonby lived in a really unconventional way at the time, and when they ran away together, they ran away together and set up a life very much like a marriage at the time. So Topher talks about that being part of his growing up in those spaces, being a club kid and wanting to record those spaces just for, you know, for himself, through his own kind of journey through life, but also with an awareness that these were ephemeral spaces that could come and go, but actually had kind of great cultural political significance as well. One of the biggest challenges for historians when looking at LGBTQ history is that it is weighted to the side of the oppressor almost. And hopefully by reappraising their cases, we can restore a bit of their identities back to them. This is On the Record at the National Archives, uncovering the past through stories of everyday people. In this episode, we're bringing you four LGBTQ stories from 200 years of British history. Two women who left their families to make a new home together in Wales in 1780, a Manchester drag ball in 1880, a secret gathering space for gay men in 1920s London, and a community archive collected by black LGBTQ Londoners that celebrates communities and spaces active from 1975 to 2010. 